Hey, welcome back to Live It Out. We're on location here on railroad track. You know, it's always wise to look both ways before crossing the railroad track. You see, we have the ability to think. And part of thinking gets us in trouble is because we think so much, we think that we know better than God even. ASAP in Psalm 73 asks this age-old question effectively. A lot of good things happen to bad people. How come the wicked prosper and the righteous suffer? I don't know if you ever had that question, but I have. I've wondered about it. So here's what I want to say, a little live it out for you. We are to think before we speak and act. Would you think about the fact that you and I aren't God and only He is? Sometimes bad stuff happens to good people and stuff, but sometimes good things happen to bad people. But God is eternal. God is just. When Asaph thought about it and entered the sanctuary of peace with Jesus, with God, with Yahweh, you know what he did? He realized that the final destiny of those who are wicked is far worse than the final destiny of those who are righteous. So to live it out this week, think before you act. Think before you speak. Look to see what God would have for you. And remember, the final destiny of those who know Jesus and follow him is eternal bliss, joy, being with him all the time. The eternal fallout of living our own lives our own way, no matter how prosperous on this planet or not, is separation from God. That's hell. Nobody wants that. You think it's fun and we could party there? It's no party. It's separation from God. He loves you. The sunshine, the fact that we're able to breathe, the fact that we have water to drink and food to eat, more importantly, the fact that we have Jesus and the opportunity to live forever with him shows that God loves us and he's gracious. All right. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Love God. Love others. Serve generously. See you next week. Look before you cross.